We're gonna wait for Bone Plan to pop off. It's pretty much free trades. Essentially. He does have D shield, so a lot of my healing is gonna get countered anyways. I hope he queues into me for the yeah, Doom Plurak. Probably positioned slightly better, would have been much nicer. Oof. It start It's like when you start shortcasting, you start just shortcasting everything. I swear to god, it's like a pandemic. I hit level two here, I just win, but I didn't play for wave state. We're gonna force his flash, I feel like. Okay. Trading my ignite for flash, I feel like, is pretty much always worth it. And then he doesn't have TP, so he's gonna have to make a decision on whether he's staying or leaving. He's not gonna lose much because it's a cannon wave. Oh, you fucker. No shot. This guy actually just chose to lose even more minions than if he had just recalled. Oh my god, my DPS is so fucking low. Really? Jesus Christ. He's just gonna walk away and I just lose mid for fucking no reason. Wow! You are such a- f Oh my fucking god, make up your mind, I swear to god. I'm gonna lose it. Holy shit. Actually, so shit, man. I run, I path towards her, she walks away, I go back to mid, she starts pathing back in. It's like, either I punish the Yone and he loses seven minions there, or I go and we actually fight. You can't make me do fucking neither, please. That is so triggering, man. That's disgusting, man. Like, the fact my Diana doesn't gank on this timer either, with no Yone flash. Fringe, dude. That's alright, we're gonna play super slow and freeze. I can't even, man. Well, we're slow pushing now at this point. I hate junglers, too. They're like, the most incapable individuals. The fuck are you doing? I cancelled an auto, that might make a difference. If there was a blast cone there, I would have lost my fucking shit, dude. Actually. And the only reason why I'm forced to burn flash is because I made a mistake on the um the Q. Unfortunately. I wish I could kill a level 4 cane, but I can't. I wish I could stay for plate as well, but I can't. I don't really feel like he lost much, to be honest. I am up 20 CS, though. It's okay. I need to get like a 30% damage rate on this guy, and then I can all in him after. Alright, well, I guess I just lose. Interesting. There's just two people rotated in the mid lane for, like, what? Guys, I full comboed him to 40% and I ulted in. I couldn't even do that last bit of HP. I hate when players just play not to lose and rely on the other people to carry them when they're playing some of the most influential roles in the game. I'm getting got for no for no reason, man. Do 
actually wouldn't be surprised if I got lost 1v1 off of a B Grieve. Dane's top right now. It's... <laughs> I'm sad. I'm losing to this. I'm losing to this, guys. I'm actually losing to this. I'm gonna lose to this player. I really am. Type 1 in chat if you're equally as depressed as I am. XD if you're watching from YouTube, if this makes it to YouTube. This is a real feels bad moment, man. I really do be like that. Alright, I have enough for Lost Chapter and Sorks, BRB. Thanks, guys. It's good to know you have my back. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he actually got the cancel off. Okay. Uh, this next wave is not even a cannon, so I'm gonna lose like six minions no matter what, I think. He's gonna E under tower and then cancel my recall. Interesting. He's gonna do it again. He's gonna EW me. He's such a- You're such a fucking psychopath, dude. It's so fucking insane. Sit the fuck down, idiot. I had to drop my pink ward to get my biscuit so that I could proc the biscuit to get the mana to have enough mana to kill him. Jeez. This guy would rather lose even harder than let me recall to buy items. You always balance around these kind of players. You're probably not wrong. Uh oh. There's probably three people in the area below me, and whatnot. Okay. Okay. He's getting a bunch of false confidence from the uh, Rakan being next to him, but it, it really just doesn't mean anything to me. As long as I have fear, he straight up he can't even walk into me or jump into me anyways. There goes half of your health, bud. You looking for an ult play? Why are you still here? I mean, your bot lane's about to get dived. It's one of the rare games where I actually get to play through mid lane because I just have an unlosable matchup instead of just perma going bottom. God damn it, Blitz, you just fucking murdered him. You ended his whole fucking family line. What is that? I didn't even have a chance to play the game, he just got completely dabbed on. Uh-oh, I'm getting engaged on for sure. I think I'm actually dead here, unless I can dodge the e pole. Yeah, I'm fine. It's pretty close, though. If she was able to get the feather pull before I got under tower, pretty much secured, but they were not on the same page just yet. Yone should lose it, but he doesn't because mana and durability of D shield, but this guy just wants to die. But yeah, he can technically just perma sustain. Like, he can't ever play aggressively, but he definitely can farm it out. He's just trying too hard to outplay an unwinnable matchup in that regard. 
So he just needs to calm down. Yeah, I think the enemy team just wants to lose. I, I really don't know why 5-2 Kane is making a mistake like that. Just dash away. I don't know why you're trying to outplay it. Actually, you know, I can understand where he's coming from, right? Like, if you're going to lose most likely, you might as well go for the 50-50 play that could turn it around. But they can scale, and they do have the ability to scale. Like, we're four APs, they just stack MR. Only one player in their team has built magic resist so far. It's like they're not even playing shopkeeper correctly at that point. My god, he's a simp. Lavalo, thank you very much for the follow. As well as Song, thank you. Appreciate it, guys. My god, he's a simp. That's brutal, man. That's really fucking brutal. Now, I feel like I'm, I'm looking right now. I'm not going to cap you, you are actually just Omega Gapped. You, you know what you did wrong. <laughs> you know that's unacceptable, brother. You know that's unacceptable. You can take it. You know somebody's how you low if they have the BE emotes, honestly. Actually, not even capping. Uh, we're probably going to go... Yeah, we're going Zonia's second item this game, just because their entire team is, uh... Literally, their entire team is AD. The entirety of it. And I want to throw myself in like a complete sociopath and engage for my team. Gotta buy a BMO. You'll probably gain like 500 LPA. Most likely. Please don't bully me, guys. Uh-oh. We should do Dragon and Rift if possible. He's probably in this bush or something like that. Maybe we just hit level 12 first before we group. I just kind of try to play around my ultimate. Like, if I have ult up, I try to group as much as possible. Otherwise, side lane till it comes back up. Because we can easily win any team fight, and fighting for objectives equals we do get the team fight. I would like to do Dragon, guys. I'm going to pull it out. Now, I'm going to change spots with Diana, and I'm going to look for an ult mid. Pretty sure we win this, guys. Oh my fucking god, holy shit. My health bar. We were pretty close to hitting her too. I am alive. I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm alive. It's because I went Zonia's, let's be real here. It's the Zonia's purchase that saved my life. I correctly identified that their entire team was AD, built against it, didn't go damage, relied on the fact that most of my lands were winning. It's a dub. Truly iconic moment for us. By the end of the day, this is really just strong laning phase. Like, we took advantage of Yone very, very nicely in this matchup. I would have built Void Staff decap. I mean, yeah, you can do that. I like Void Staff second more than uh, Shadow Flame second these days. It's just the reality is if you're playing Vex, you have to build. Uh, Sonia's in the first three items, otherwise you can't engage properly. You can still engage, but it just feels so much harder to make those decisions confidently, knowing that you have a backup plan. It's like a Malphite who refuses to press R. Like, you really don't need to worry that much once you have security involved. Uh, I don't think I can actually beat Pain. That's the only guy on their team I cannot kill right now, because he's got double MR items. We're gonna go Void Staff as third, though, because, you know, we're quad AP. 
I mean, if you if you can play a 200 LP Masters game and they don't build MR into four AP champions, you can just kind of insinuate that every single game is winnable off Shopkeeper, even if you lose in draft. How sad is that, though? Things below me. Whoops, my bad. I should have probably waited on the fear, because if she had ulted, um, I probably would have gotten outplayed there. I still have the Zonias, right? But I feel like she could have played it better for sure. Alright, I've got fear up. If Blitzcrank played for hook right there, I think oh, he just used it over the wall, never mind. <laughs> I could buy the Zonia, uh, the, uh, the Mejais as well. Mejais would not be a bad option. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and keep pushing mid since we'll we'll sack bottom tower. It doesn't really matter that much. Could I hit an item spike right now? Surely, but I think we can just take so much right now. That's almost illegal. He's gonna flash for it and I'm gonna Zanya's up. Uh oh. There's a world we lose actually. But I think Draven positioning here is pretty immaculate. All right, GG. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.